I can't believe I'm going to talk about this damn dress. Glad I wore my gold shirt too. So if you haven't heard about this damn Roman's woman's lace dress, whatever, uh, there's a point to this being on my photography channel. If you haven't heard about this, you're not on social media whatsoever. This thing's been blown up since, you know, just the other day on Tumblr. Someone posted, well, you know, where is this right here? Uh, someone posted this on face on a uh, Tumblr and said, you know, oh my God, you know, this dress is really black and blue, but it's really white and gold. And a huge, huge debate has been brought up of, is this blue? Is this white? Is this gold? Is this black? What the hell is this freaking dress? Now listen people, we have way more important stuff to worry about than this damn Roman's woman's lace dress. But I guess this is the big thing and it's really a simple answer. I first thought it does look white and gold because you're looking at it on a very, you know, on smartphones, on whatever, you're looking on light backgrounds and you're not realizing, and this is kind of the photography standpoint, about what goes into the picture. First of all, I don't care if this goddamn dress is red, it doesn't matter. But the dress is literally uh, black and blue. And this is, it's, this is this exact same dress right here, as you can see from here. And I'm gonna show you it in Photoshop really quickly and the color picker to show you where it's at. Now, once again, you know, the big debate, black, blue, white, gold, and it all just comes down to, first of all, uh, not knowing this 100%, this this was shot with a crappy, crappy point-and-shoot uh, camera in which it interprets light like ass, so it's terrible, and I don't know if you've ever seen gold, I don't know if you ever photographed in a dark environment or with very bad fluorescent, ugly light that your camera can't process, the sensor's not that great, you know, small sensor, and the way it interprets colors. And one of the things is the gold, it gets gold because of the way, it gets like gold brown because of the way the light and the black are interacting and the the amount of light coming onto this dress. And that's where this huge thing is. And that's why people see it as more gold than, you know, straight up black because it isn't. It's a terrible photo of a dress. Once again, if this, this is this freaking dress. Uh, it's 100% a fact, you know, it's nothing other than that. Now, you get this distinction because of the way people's uh, light comes into people's retinas and everything and how you interpret light and colors and everything. So I said, screw this, I'm downloading the picture and I brought it up in Photoshop and here is the image. It's untouched, I didn't do anything to it. And one of the first things I did was I made an auto color adjustment and it goes right to blue and black. So, okay, I'm letting Photoshop pick everything here. So this is still the same photo. Once again, have not touched it. I'm going to go to the adjustments. And then I even said, okay, how about equalize the colors? Looking really black and blue to that point. But let's take everything off of that and go even further. And right now, so I even have my little color dropper selected. And I'm just going to go through. And you see right here, this is freaking blue. Absolutely blue. Uh, then we'll go to the darker areas, and as you see on the right-hand side of the screen, it's coming off as brown, once again, because of the, the camera and the way the lighting is, but if you kind of look right over here, you'll notice it's kind of getting towards the black level, and especially the way you're going. So this is a blue and black dress, shot with a terrible camera, any otherwise. So I'm not going to be one where I've seen people calling people idiots and all that kind of stuff, one, because it doesn't matter, there's more important stuff out there. But the dress, if you really look at it scientifically, a lot of people say if you take it off of a white background and you give it some time, you put it on a more neutral background, like a Photoshop type of thing, if you print it out, cut it up and separate it, you'll notice it. Or if you go in and do this this the way I'm doing it with color checkers and all that kind of stuff, and, and I have a calibrated screen, you will easily see that it is that color of a dress. At first, of course, I said, because I saw it on my, my iPhone, I was like, Okay, it's a white and gold dress, but no. Um, I think I've clearly shown that it is a black and uh, blue dress. So now I just brought it in the Lightroom to show you two different sides, and you can obviously see it's white and gold. I mean, you could tell. I'm just kidding. I just put up the exposure. So once again, this is the original image. This is your white, your gold. And to further prove this, I'm mainly going to do two things to show you um, the real truth about this. And as I was mentioning, the white balance is really, really off. So obviously... There's a good medium between this to kind of show where it's really at. And if you put it, you know, 
just a little more towards the uh, the cool side, you can easily see it's a freaking, and you can pretty much see uh, the white and everything around is more white. So this is the proper, you know, exposure, and I could even go, you know, crazy. I mean, what is this looking like to you? Um, you know, let's even go down to the blues. You know, this looks pretty similar to the freaking dress right here um right here so that aside it's a goddamn blue dress